What's going on guys, Renegade Gene Ninja here, and it's been a while since my last video. I know guys, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, a lot of major decisions. I think I talked about this last time. Um, and when stuff like that goes down in your life, you just like don't really feel like playing Call of Duty or whatever. You know, I just really haven't felt like it. And let's be honest guys, there really hasn't been much going on in the Call of Duty field world i guess besides just rumors and speculation so i don't really have much to talk about but uh um, well right now i'm playing some black ops i'm going to talk about black ops so i wanted to play some black ops um running the ak suppressed with a dual mag i'm running warlord um i like it suppressed it's just me i sometimes i run it unsuppressed but uh sometimes i like to sneak around actually i'm running flak jacket right now not ghost uh, i'm trying to cap some flags so uh, flak jacket's really nice for that but uh Anyway, guys, this is a longer video, you can probably tell if you look at YouTube, but um, normal than I normally, wait, time out, longer than I normally put out, yeah, that's what I want, alright, and, uh, but I, it's been a while since my last video, so you guys can just cut it into two pieces, I guess, and you'll have two videos, there you go, uh, here's a little lesson for you, if you don't know how to work a camera spike, don't hack it, and then use it, because I have no idea right now how to get my mini map back so now i'm running around without a mini map trying to figure it out pulling out claymores hitting the d bad everywhere so if you guys know how to turn that off go ahead and uh, put it in the comments because i couldn't figure it out so i pretty much ran around with no mini map and a, and a worthless camera spike but but um yeah the reason why i made this video guys is i watched the uh the black ops 2 live stream and i thought it was really cool i've never look at that claymore save as i was goofing off in the trying to figure out how to take that stupid thing off anyway um <laughs> these guys are such noobs speaking of playing against noobs the new black ops 2 live stream live feed i guess whatever you want to call it came out and uh they talked about a lot of new black ops 2 information so if you haven't seen that you go get a chance to watch that it's on uh you can get it on xbox live you can i'm sure you can find it on youtube somewhere but uh it, it might answer some of your questions about black ops 2 but some of the main things about that one of them was the true skill matchmaking system they call it and uh from what i understand it's like a halo based matchmaking system where better players are look at this i have a blackbird and i can't even use it because i don't even know what the heck i'm doing <laughs> anyway where better players are paired with better players and if you're a noob you're you're paired with a noob and uh or other other noobs anyway it, it's it's a good idea i like the idea as a commentator it's really not that great because you know you want to make gameplays of you going beast mode on everybody and it's really easy to do that against noobs so uh I, i'm wanting to see if some of the commentators gameplays that you guys see might actually like uh, maybe they won't be dominating quite so hard because they'll actually have to be playing against good players so we'll find that out i guess uh something that may bothers me about that though is the call of duty community if there's a way to hack something or cheat something or dashboard out of something they'll find a way to do it and i'm afraid that somehow some way people will figure out how to change their stats up just perfect so that they are always paired with really bad players and it will screw up everybody's game because number one they're gonna have ridiculous gameplays that you just can't touch i mean you're, you're playing against brand new players all the time you know you're gonna go 50 and one and nobody's gonna be able to touch those gameplays but then also the new people who are playing and trying to learn the game they're just going to go in there and ruin their game so i really hope that doesn't happen i mean treyarch really supports their games very well so i hope that they kind of keep on it and make sure that's not happening but i'd hate to see like dashboarding or whatever however somebody would do that i don't know exactly but i would hate to see that happen um other than that i think it's a good idea except one factor and this is really important to me uh, you can't really say you can't really know if it's going to be fixed or not until you play the game but one of the main problems actually the main problem in black ops one was the the lag compensation the lag the matchmaking whatever it was the, the lag in the game was almost unbearable i mean it that infuriated me more than anything else because there's no way you can counter lag you know you, you can counter camping you can counter ghosts you can counter suppressors you can counter everything but you can't counter lag you can counter noob tubes you, you know if you're half a second behind everybody else and you have a good connection there's nothing you can do and i can't stand that because i actually have a very good connection um i ping really low everywhere my my, my connection is really stable i live really close to my internet service provider which keeps my ping low almost anywhere i go uh very, very good and 
it actually, uh, I don't know, there's big arguments whether it penalizes me or not, but I felt penalized in Black Ops, and I really would hate to see that in Black Ops 2. That's like one of the things I'm keeping my fingers crossed for. I mean, they can put kill streaks in there, guns, whatever, but I really, really, really would like to see that get changed. And when you're doing this new skill system, as they call it, as matchmaking, you're taking away matchmaking as a local or ping-based matchmaking system so that everybody has the least laggy of a game, and you're putting player skill into it. So I'm, I'm afraid, I'm really afraid that that's going to make the game laggier. Now, yeah, you'll be playing against people who are closer to your skill level, but if you're if every if everything you do is is delayed in everybody's screen and sometimes you have beast mode gameplays cuz you're the one not lagging and you know that's just that would be really crappy. That's all I'm saying. So hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed guys that that's not the case that I'm wrong about that whatever. I hope that they fix out fix the lag compensation system or whatever it was. I'm not going to get in arguments, but um Anyway, I don't know. That's just that's just what I said. But anyway, I didn't really have much of a reason to make a video before until this. Uh, I mean, what was I going to talk about, guys? Like the, the the rumors on the internet. I mean, I guess I could have. And then Modern Warfare Three is getting kind of old. I mean, it's okay. It's still a good game. I'm not going to dog on it. I'll probably still play it in the future. But uh, you know, you just get tired of it. Everybody gets tired of it. Everybody gets tired of everything every now and then. So anyway, um. If you watch the video, you can kind of get an idea of the graphic system, and it seems kind of like a uh, like a Black Ops style looking graphics. Like I, I don't, and this is opinion based, but I don't think the graphics were anything amazing. I think that Black Ops graphics weren't anything amazing. I really don't. I mean, I think that they're okay, but the color base is very pretty, and it seems to be in the new game too. Like it, it's not a bad graphical game. But I'm not going to play it and be like, whoa, look at that. Whoa, that's so cool. Like, it's just like, okay, whatever. But to me, in these games, you know, graphics are kind of important because they make it fun a little bit. But gameplay is so much more important than graphics are. If I could, if I was playing on PC, I would turn the graphics down to get better gameplay. So, like, that's not really an issue for me. But if, if that's an issue for you, you might want to check out the videos and see if, you know, the, the game's going to be not pretty enough for you i guess i think it's fine really i think it looks good but you know a lot of people will probably have problems with it so you can kind of leave this guy up top bam get down anyway um a big thing that a big factor in black ops 1 was the fact that ghost was overpowered and guys it was it's it's is overpowered it, it's the best perk in the game i use it all the time unless i'm using flak jacket to cat flags it's just how it is like it's it's an amazing perk but what they change in it, and, and really it's not that big of a deal, because if you're moving, like, you, you're supposed to be ghosting around, I call it. You know, whatever. You can call me a fag, I don't care. You, you're supposed to be moving around, you know, using it to get behind the enemy's spawn, using it to, to, to position yourself. But the noobs will use it to sit in a corner and stay off the UAV and shoot people as they run by. Well, to counteract that in this new Black Ops 2 game, or, yeah, yeah, they, uh, they make it so if you're moving... You don't show up on the radar, but if you're stationary, Ghost has no effect. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. I thought I was going to catch the ledge and do this awesome thing where I shot one guy and then dropped down from the ledge and shot the other guy. I just missed the ledge completely and just looked like an idiot in front of everybody. But <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty cool. That'll kind of keep people from like sitting in the corner with Ghost. And super noobs who sit in camp, they probably won't even know that. So they'll be sitting in a corner thinking that they're all, they're all protected and... Uh, I don't know. I think that'll be cool. But also to counteract corner campers, I don't know if you saw this, but um, there's a sight that goes on your, your gun and um, it like sweeps the area and you can see through walls and it, it sweeps it like real quick. And I don't know if the enemies have to be stationary or not. I'm not sure 100% how it works, but it sweeps through real quick and you can kind of just barely see through walls. It's not like, it's not like x-ray vision, but it's just like a, a, an idea. So if you think somebody's in there and they're just hiding, you can kind of sweep through and, and, and find out exactly what corner they're camping in and, and pop them or wall bang them or whatever you want to do. Um, Modern Warfare, the wall bangs are really good. You could, If you knew where somebody was, you could pop them through a wall pretty easily. Uh, Black Ops kind of didn't really do that. The, the wall banging wasn't as big of a factor. I'd like to see it come back, guys. I really like wall banging. I think it's, I think it's a skillful thing to do. Um, you know, especially if you know someone's sitting in a corner. I don't know. I, I, I really like it. I'd like to see it come back. But um, something else that they mentioned in this live stream was the fact that your attachments 
uh, affect your gun only and your perks affect your person only. So that means perks like steady aim aren't steady aim anymore. Because steady aim is a perk, but it affects like your gun's hip fire. So that's going to be an attachment that's going to affect your gun's hip fire instead of a perk. Um, which is cool. I mean, ten the, the, the new 10 point based system thing that they've got going on. I mean, you... You got to see how they're going to balance it. That's all there is to it. And from what I, I've i played is Treyarch has a nice balanced game. And uh, I, I don't know, guys. What do you think about it? I think that it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty promising. To be honest, if it sucks, I'm going to, to Battlefield. Like, let's just be honest. I, I don't want to play a laggy game where I'm, well, I'm 10 seconds behind everybody else. That's exaggeration. But I don't want to play a game where the people spawn behind me. Now, I'm not hating on Modern Warfare 3. I'm just saying that it's a problem and it hasn't been fixed. They've been they've tried to tweak it, but they haven't. And it's a major problem. It ruins kill streaks. So I don't want to play a game that's like that. Um, that's just how I am, guys. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go on a rant about Modern Warfare Call of Duty. Hopefully they get it right. That's what I want to see. Halo 4 is coming out. We'll check that out, guys, if you want to see some of those games coming out. Um, let me know. There's a lot of really cool games coming out. Borderlands 2 is coming out. The new uh, Bioshock's coming out, guys. All kinds of really cool stuff to get uh, get your hands on. But, uh, oh, one more thing. The UAV uh, gives you assist points. I think it works towards your next kill streak as well. Uh, I'm not sure, but it, but if you, you put a UAV up and people get kills, then you get assist for your UAV, which is really cool. It, it, it gets people to use those UAVs. But uh, I don't know. I think that's awesome. Here, I'm not going to be able to use my kill streaks, but uh, still a fun game. I don't, I don't like this map. I hate this map, but um, had a great game on it. So there it is. And uh, I'm trying to bring you more gameplays. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stick around. I'm not going to promise anything. There's a new live feed coming out soon. I'll watch that and try to give you guys information and what I think about it. But I'm not going to promise any certain videos, daily videos, anything like that. But uh, stick around if you like this channel. And uh, it's, I'm not going anywhere. I plan on making a whole lot more videos, especially the closer that Black Ops 2 comes out. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Long commentary, I know. Have a good night. Have a good night, day, morning, whenever you're watching this. All right, peace.